Bobby Joe 04 um, asks, could you do a video on swelling techniques and origin insertion um, techniques? I'm pretty sure the O and I, it just says O and I, but pretty sure that's what she means is O and I. Um, on the sidebar, over in the sidebar, I got a link to all my videos on trigger point therapy. With that, I'll show you where the trigger points are. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. And I also explained about all the different um, origin insertions. Um, for the muscles too, so um, there's over 60 different muscles that I explain and demonstrate on there, and there's even tr charts for trigger point therapy too. So, kinesnerd.com um, that's the website where I have all my clips on then um, to make it easier to find, and all the muscles are on the sidebar there that you can click on then. And for the swelling techniques, um, a while ago I made uh, a lymphatic drainage uh, massage um, video clip. And it's a little over eight minutes long, but it uses really light superficial techniques is what it does. But um, it'll explain about opening up the lymph node areas um, first and help drain it. But basically, the kind of pressure that you're using is the weight of a fin um, the weight of a nickel. So you don't want to go any more deeper than that the first time through. So it's like really light and superficial on the lymph nodes um, to help reduce that. But with swelling, let's say a recent injury, the first 48 to 72 hours, you um, usually want to use ice um, to help reduce the swelling because you don't want to massage anything in that first 48 to 72 hours. Otherwise, um, uh, you can actually damage the tissue then in that, in that time frame. But after the 72 hours, then it's okay to massage some and also um, do some stretching too. So it would be really beneficial for those areas. But it's actually called RICE, Rest Ice Compression Elevation. So you rest that area for 48 to 72 hours, then you ice it too every now and then, um, and then compression. Um, you can even put like a ace bandage wrap on there, and then E elevation, so you elevate it above your heart, so it reduces the swelling. But usually when areas swell, it's usually damaged to the ligaments. That's the biggest area that it's usually damaged. But if you damage um, your muscles or tendons, it usually doesn't swell um, as much, and sometimes it doesn't swell at all. But Again, ligament damage, um, that's the main time it'll swell. But you just never know if it um, could be broken too. So again, it's always a good idea to get it checked out by a doctor um, just to be safe for, for those kind of things. And another form people are using is called MICE, a movement ice um, compression elevation. So with the movement, sometimes you're doing some stretching. Uh, a few years ago, I went to active isolated um, stretching workshop and they actually did stretching right after somebody sprained their ankle. Um, to help um, get mo mobility in there, but again, they didn't do anything with um, massage at all. Not a good idea, but again, some people again believe in the actual stretching right afterwards. But raising um, any area that's uh, has swelling above the heart helps drain it too. But sometimes people will use the lymphatic drainage techniques in um, spas, so you can technically lose a little bit of water weight along with the body wraps and things like that. But Again, you want to drink a lot of water afterwards because, again, uh, it dehydrates anyway, too. But people with lymphatic problems where they do have actual swelling, um, if they had a mastectomy or a hysterectomy, um, it, you can, um, those lymph nodes are damaged, so that's why they have swelling in their arms or legs. So that's why lymphatic drainage is, um, techniques are more beneficial then. So any kind of comments or questions, leave the comments below. And uh, thanks for asking the question.